Hello everyone, this is Impulse, and today, bringing you something a little different, not a Let's Play this time, but I want to show off something that uh, me and my buddies came up with on our server, and it is a zombie pigman gold farm, but you say, what? You're in the overworld, that can't be. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So right now I'm in creative mode, but this also works for survival. Well, I'm just going to give you the tour first. That's just a minecart elevator. But let me show you from the outside. And you'll see reason for having the portal up high in a second here. So let me go through this portal. And now we're in the nether. We'll come in here. And we want to get to the ceiling. The ceiling of the nether. And I, uh, I broke a bedrock here just to get through. I just want to get through the ceiling because up on top of the nether, we have built this humongous mob trap. And this mob trap is not my design. Uh, designed by uh, Panda. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Him and his friends, JL, uh, they came up with this, this mob trap design, and it's one of the most efficient ones out there. And what we did was we built it up here on top of the bedrock in the nether. And the reason for that is because we want to be able to get away from spawn spaces down in the nether. So if you're on top, and you can see I'm at, uh, my eyes are at 251. So pretty much ensures the zombie pigmen are going to spawn up here in my mob trap and you know they can't spawn on glass um, I guess I could spawn there solve that Boop. all right we got half slabs on the top and inside this thing whoop we got your basic tripwire piston pusher design here so boom tripwire pushes them off and they fall Pretty simple. So I'm gonna act like I'm one of them. Fall. Yep. Oh, vines. Resets their fall. A couple of them are gonna die, yeah. But for the most part, they live. And then we got this portal in the middle. And the idea behind the portal, and this is a 1.4 thing is if they get pushed into the portal they'll go through it they'll end up in the overworld so unfortunately that action getting pushed in the portal does lead to quite a bit of lag so my clock this is you know we got the clock going right now uh, it's going rather slow There we go. You can start to hear it freak out a little bit. Lag spike. Okay, finally, all the pigmen got pushed through. The trap is, is empty. And again, if I go back up, I'll come over here so you can see if, if they're falling. There we go. We got them falling. Built this thing rather high just so we could get some max efficiency, but you can see them falling again. Down. Pretty annoying. But you can see they're getting pushed into the portal and then they disappear. So let's take a look at where they go. Pushed. Oh, here we go. And bam. So, 
Now they're pushed into the overworld. Okay, and then they'll they'll fall off naturally on their own. Boom, hit the ground, they'll die. And then we got this water stream to carry their loot. And you could transport it to uh, an unloaded chunk that you could visit later. But if you come in this way, Still gotta go in here. Turn that off. If you go through your own portal, now you can go collect. Bam. There it is, waiting for you. Loop. Put that away. My junk. Okay, so now I'm in survival. And let me show you how you can make this in your own world, your own survival world, and it will still work. Take our minecart elevator up. Okay. Get into the portal. Go to the nether. Minecart elevator up. Okay, so now you're at the very top of the nether. The next thing we have to do is get above the bedrock. Let's see where our see where our head's at here. But you basically want to have one layer of bedrock. So when your head is at eye position is at 126, and that means we just got a layer of bedrock, and then above that will be this the uh, above the nether. The bedrock layer above the nether. So this is something that can be easily done in survival. And like you saw, I had a ladder there. And you just want to take an ender pearl, throw it up there, and then boom. You can climb up the ladder, and you're through the bedrock. And here we are. We're on top of the nether. You can see my Y coordinate now is 128. And what's nice about this is nothing spawns on bedrock. So you don't have to worry about pigmen spawning right here. You can hear them down below. And then so you just want to make sure when you build that everything's spawn proof. You can see they put the half slabs on the portal and use glass. Um, and you kind of want to just make sure we force them to spawn inside the trap. And right now as I'm standing here, they can spawn down below. So the idea is turn on the machine pistons get going okay get yourself to the top through your minecart elevator and now we're up so high that they won't spawn below the bedrock surface and it pretty much forces them to spawn inside the trap. And you can see I'm getting pretty, pretty good rates if you watch. We'll just stand up here for a while, let a few spawn. It's kind of fun to watch them. But you can imagine you can just AFK here. And they'll just keep spawning, keep getting pushed into the portal. And then they will be in the overworld, which is not going to be loaded, uh, and, you know, unless you're playing on a multiplayer server and, and somebody's there. So since the chunk's not loaded, whenever you're ready, you can come back down, and you can just fall through these mine carts this way. I could put a fall with a maybe a vine break or, or whatnot, but this works fine. Okay, and we'll see if they've all been pushed in. I don't see any. So I'll go ahead and turn that off now. 
and we'll go see uh, see what we got. Go through the portal. Okay, go down my fall here with the water break. My guy's just fine. And here it is waiting for me. And you can see it's still coming. Because uh, it just loaded. And bam. Got 74 nuggets just from that just from that little bit. So put those away. So that's uh, that's it. That's how it works. With this design, you can average around 5,000 items per hour. Of course, half that's going to be rotten flesh. The other half will be golden nuggets. And that equates to about 281 gold ingot an hour, which is not bad. Especially now that uh, villager trading, a lot of them will end up with the gold trade. And uh, in order to get past that, you'll need to come up with the gold for it. This is a good way to get it, get your gold. And you can AFK and collect. So I'm going to go up one more time, and we'll do a... We'll do a five minute test and see what happens. Okay, here we go, five minutes. Okay, five minutes is up. Let's go down and see what we got. Got a couple on there. Fighting it. He does not want to go. He keeps jumping back up. Okay, we're going to go with that. Oh, there we went. Okay, turn this off. And we'll go through our portal. And some of them came back in. Okay, let's see what we got. Not bad. Almost four stacks of gold nuggets. And over four stacks of rotten flesh. So like I said, that'll give you about 5,000 items total per hour, uh, 2,500 gold nuggets. Okay, check the description for a download of the world so you can check it out for yourself. Have fun building it up, getting all that gold. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.